And Fresno State continues to make the Central Valley proud. This time their cheerleading team brought back home a top prize. To tell us more about it, we welcome Fresno State cheerleaders Mackenzie Engelman, Rachel White, Dakota Dickinson, and another Rachel Martinez. <laughs> welcome ladies, how are you? Good. We are so happy to have you on the show here. First of all, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, before we get into like the whole <laughs> championship, I'm going to go one by one. I want you to introduce yourselves and tell me for how long have you been part of the team. We're going to start here. My name is Mackenzie. This is my fourth year on the team and I am a back spot and tumbler. Mm. My name is Rachel White. That's also Rachel too. I'm a tumbler as well and I base. My name is Dakota Dixon and I'm a base and a tumbler. My name is Rachel Martinez and I'm a flyer, so I'm the one that gets thrown around. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> right, Rachel? <laughs> okay, ladies, tell us about this championship. When did it happen? How did it go? Tell me a little bit about it. Um, it was this weekend. Um, day one, we didn't do our best, but day two, we definitely brought it back and we hit zero and we did awesome. Okay, yeah. what does this championship mean to you guys? So it's a national championship. We compete about against the whole West Coast, like teams from Utah, there's teams from Nevada, New Mexico that come, and we all just compete against each other, and it's just for a championship, really. Okay, this question is kind of for all of you guys, or whoever wants to answer it. What do you have to tell those people that say cheerleading is not a, a sport? <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I just feel like people who say that cheerleading isn't a sport don't really know what we do and we really proved it this past weekend when we won the national championship and it just it was just a great feeling just to show the world what we can do exactly and then i feel that for those that say that cheerleading is not a sport they have not been kicked in the face they have not been anything they have and it's tough it yeah. really is mm -hmm. tough i remember well i was a little cheerleader back in my <laughs> high school days and it's a tough sport i call mm -hmm. it a sport because it really is yeah. yes. they don't see the background they just see you in your cute little outfits and they just think like oh no that's it no it's hard it really is yeah. it is and what does it take to get to this championship like you know practices and all that good stuff yeah, it takes a lot of work. So we practice um, three days a week right now. We have morning workouts and plus uh, we have games to go to, basketball, water polo, football. And there's just many things we have to do to balance everything out. People have to balance jobs, internships, mm. even the hours at practice. There's people coming in from class. So when we all come together, it's a great thing and it makes a good unit. You know, I'm so glad you mentioned all of that because people don't realize that you guys cheer for a university, first of all, <laughs> yeah. and you guys have jobs, you have internships, you have so many things to juggle at the same time, and you guys are just making this happen. It's amazing. It really is. Okay, I want to, sh okay, first, before we get to the little stunt you guys have prepared, how many people are part of your team? We have 21 plus put our mascot, yes. Wow, 21. And you guys all travel together. How does that work for those that don't know? Um, so we use either a charter bus. We got to a charter bus through um, our our budget and our school. So we were able to get a charter bus and go into a hotel together. Wow. Is there any events coming up that, you know, fundraisers for you ladies that, you know, people could attend or anything like that? We have a high school clinic coming up as well. Um, that's where the people who want to travel for Fresno State can come. We do have Spirit Fest that's offered for little kids. It's super fun. And that is usually during football season and basketball season. Okay, awesome that you guys have it. Okay, I want to see this stunt. Okay. Was this part of the routine as well for the championship? Or what are we going to see here? You're just going to uh, see a live right now. Yeah. <laughs> Those can't be done on floor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to put them in danger. Right <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to kind of move out of the way. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to be ready. <laughs> You're good. Oh my goodness. Okay, ladies, t tell me, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so we did a quick toss live, so we just grab and yeah. we dip and we're up into a live and she just hits really clean and then we pop off and come rise and clean. Okay, and I know that you guys <laughs> mentioned your positions and what you guys do, but for those that don't know, okay, you are the back spot. Yes. So what does that mean exactly? Uh, basically, you're going to be the tallest person there because you got to grab really high. Oh you're the highest person up there. Um, a lot of it is lifting up and stabilizing <laughs> and Catching them when they fall. Exactly. That's the most important. Exactly. And you ladies are the basics, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You play a really important role as well for the yeah. flyer not to fall. Tell us a little bit about it. You want to say it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're basically like the people that keep her stable, including the back spot. But um, 
Yeah. That's just like <laughs> the main controllers, yeah. So yeah. the main controllers of the set. The controllers. Well. You, guys, you ladies have to be strong if you yeah. think about it. Yeah. Because when that flyer drops, mm -hmm. you have to kind of stop it, right? Yeah, yeah. At a start in here, right? And Rachel, okay, you're the flyer. Tell me about that. So flying is just a lot of having trust in your bases yeah. as they kind of throw you around. And then it's a lot of staying tight and just knowing how to control your body and not let weight shift to areas that it shouldn't. Um, and just learning to be flexible. <laughs> to be flexible. Right? You have to kind of just hold yourself up sometimes and just suck it in. <laughs> Ladies, okay, let's just remind people, if they want to be part of your group, how could they do that? We have tryouts. Yes. <laughs> so you can train as well. Um, we do have the clinics that are coming up. And then, yeah, just come to the clinics and see what it's about. I highly suggest that awesome. it's really fun yes great okay before we go now i just want to hear like a quick little cheer you know for fresno state you know okay i know you guys could do that let's <laughs> yeah. do it let's do it All before right. we go to break go dogs, go, dogs go yeah ready. yeah so ready go dogs go go dogs go last time go dogs go Yay. Awesome, <laughs> ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations <laughs> once you. again. We appreciate it. Thank you.